Yo guys, it's boy JZ here and today we are going to be doing another Mobile Legends challenge video. If you guys remember that I did a challenge video where I asked Siri uh, to pick my hero and now we're going to do the same thing but for mages. The last time I did for um, fighters only, right now I'm going to be doing mages. So right now, currently, I have access to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mages. Harley doesn't count. So yeah, let's see what Siri has to say. All right, here we go. Siri, give me a random number between one and seven. It's one. One. Oh my God, is that Nana? Oh my goodness, why? Well, I gotta, I gotta listen to Siri. Siri wants me to use Nana. To make with I'll Nana? choose Nana. The problem is I never used her, but we have to listen to Siri, and we're listening to Siri. Let's get into the gameplay. Really quickly, guys, let me just show you the emblem setup. I'm going to be using the mage emblem, um, like this. This was actually supposed to be for Harith. So, in my opinion, I would use uh, three agility and then three of invasion and then mystery shot for Nana. And then for my builds, I'm going to be using this one, the first one here. Uh, Arcane Boots, Cloak of Destiny, Lightning Truncheon, Holy Crystal, Genius Wand, and Divine Glaive. And then Immortality is there if I need it. So let's get into the gameplay. So here we go. Game number one. As you can see, this is a very good team right here. And Yi Sin Shin as the jungler is a very, very, very good choice. Um, so yeah, I have no experience with using this Leonin at all. I have no idea how to use her, when to strike, when to counter, when to retreat, I don't know. So do not expect this to be an amazing Nana gameplay, okay guys? I'm not a Nana main, I'm mostly a Harith and a Cyclops main. But I have played well with her before. I think I played with her for like four times maybe. So I got a little bit of experience, but those are in brawl matches, so I was forced to play with her. So, yeah. So in the early game, obviously, not much is going on. But this Grok went from the middle lane to straight away coming to delay our jungle's buff. And I knew he was going to do that eventually, because... Because uh, if not, he would have uh, gone with his mages according to this server. So, so that's why I was uh, waiting for him to come around us and then um, uh, take, uh, try to contest uh, our jungler's buff. And what I realized about Grok is, as you saw there, I put down my little, um, what do you call it, bear, I guess. And then when Grok uses his first skill, he's immune to that so that might be a little bit of a problem but using my second skill i could scare away Yi Sin Shin so that he can either go back to he could either go back to re uh, to heal or he would run away fast enough for us to clear the minion wave and i don't know maybe he will recall to base if i lower down his hp a lot the problem with this is Yi Sin Shin his reactions here this game, Yu Shin's reactions were top notch, and their tank was doing an amazing job at cutting us off at the perfect time. So, looking back at this footage, I probably should have bought Enchanted Talisman. I don't know if anyone of my subscribers are Nana mains. Please let me know. Let me know in the comment section below whether Enchanted Talisman is optimal for Nana. In my opinion, I don't think you need it. Because, because uh, I think Cloak of Destiny um, will already provide um, enough mana for you. So I don't think you need stuff like that. But unless you're using someone like Cyclops, you are definitely going to need uh, Enchanted Talisman. And also guys, uh, uh, I uh, have decided that every single week, I will try to post... Um, uh, a maximum of three videos a week that's maximum minimum is two videos a week I don't want to be doing every single day because obviously I need to focus on 
homework, my own personal time, my own personal happiness, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are okay with uh, two videos or three videos a week. So, yeah, I hope you guys are okay with that. I just wanted to tell you. So, this will be um, the second video I posted today, I think. Uh, yeah, I posted a Dreamy Soccer video and then this. So, yeah, this is the second video I will be posting this week. Um, if possible, I will try to post one this Saturday or this Friday. I'm, I'm working on a my first ever uh, ranking video. You know, like the uh, rating, I don't know, um, rating KSI songs from worst to best, 2020 edition or something like that. I'm doing a ranking video, but no, it's not a KSI um, kind of a video. It's, uh, I'm just going to say it's going to be a game that many people nowadays um, are playing. Uh, what other tips I can give you? Um... It's basically a rhythm game. It's one of those games where you um, you play to the rhythm. You you tap the keynotes to the rhythm. And uh, should I give you more tips? I mean tips, hints. Nah, that's all you're getting. So base. Okay, it's a cartoon style game. It's a rhythm game. That's all you're getting. That's all you're getting for the upcoming video. It will either be this week. Or if it takes a horrendous time to edit, um, then it will probably be next week. But I don't think it will take too long to edit because I've never done a ranking video in my life. So, yeah, don't judge me too much when this video comes out. Okay, I, this is my first time doing a ranking video on this channel. So, yeah, anyway, enough about that. I just, I think I basically spoiled to everyone in the next video. Um... Because I think all the hints I've given is too obvious. But I don't know. But the good thing about Nana is... Let's get back to the game. <laughs> Stop me rambling. <laughs> anyway, the good thing about Nana is... Um, her passive allows me to play aggressive. But at the same... like It allows me to play aggressive. Usually mages, you shouldn't play aggressive too much. Only sp uh, particular mages, you... Um, need to uh be aggressive but with nana you can play aggressive right from the start because you basically have a free immortality because her passive if you do not know i think it's called molina's gift and i think it's basically like um it's basically like nana when uh she gets uh knocked out and she has her passive available she turns into this little kind of I don't know what you call it, a, a little Molina, I guess. And then uh, she removes all debuffs like slow effect, uh, immobilization, all that stuff off of her. And she gains a little bit of HP and 75% movement speed, I think. So, yeah. So, uh, her passive allows me to play aggressive. At the same time, allows me to stay alive uh, more often. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I really like Nana. Like you, as you can see that that that's her passive right there. I just start running like like a little girl, and there we go. The the funny thing is that passive is for me to use so that I don't die so much. What just happened? I just died. So um, I will probably if I had to do the next uh, part of this series, this like ask series stuff. I would probably do next tanks. Right now, I only have, um, including the free tanks that they post every, what, month, I guess. Um, right now is, I, I own Tigreal. I mean, everyone owns Tigreal. Everyone owns Tigreal. Uh, I own Atlas, Hilda, and Kufra. Yeah, I only own one, two, three, four tanks. So yeah, I was actually thinking since I only own two tanks, two tanks, I might as well. Why do I still need to ask Siri? It's only two. But then I realized, oh wait, I have these other, um, these other two that I rarely use. I never use Hilda. I never use Kufra. 
I rarely use Atlas. I mainly use Tybu. He's my go-to. If some, if my team needs a tank, I will fulfill tank. I'm actually way better at playing tank than um, mage because uh, I like the fact of me being more um, more tanky because I like to survive. I like to stay in the game. So um, yeah, I prefer tanks. I prefer to play tanks more than mages because I like that tanks can survive longer than usual and I already have a build for Tigro for physical physical defense magic defense and for overall so if you got right now I apologize um right now my uh, Wi-Fi was uh, was starting to dip was starting to um, lower down like my ping was starting to go higher up it went from like I don't know 15 ms to what 900 or something so I apologize if uh, some of the gameplay going forward looks a bit glitchy um, there was nothing I can do but luckily I didn't get kicked out or anything it was just a few um, glitches so yeah so right now as you can see we initiated into a team fight with our tank this was really good because Okay, that was a terrible ult, but this was good because Nana, her ult does so much damage. Here, as you can see, Harley was low HP, and then I didn't want to face him. I didn't want to face him, but then I had to because if I killed him, then I could just push turrets because they're all dead. But then <laughs> I died in the process of Harley dying as well. I actually didn't realize that I, I knew Harley would come for me but I didn't realize that he was so confident in getting the kill so that uh, uh, he was so confident in getting the kill that he would just straight come at me without thinking that I could still kill him and Nana's ult has an amazing AoE I'm so proud of this shot here Ooh, that was amazing that was amazing amazing I was really proud of that shot. I feel like that was my only two kills of the game. Like these these guys were really trying to pick me off. I don't know why Grok was coming after me like I was the main damage dealer. I don't know why. It just felt like that. And this Chao was pretty good too, but I didn't really get to see him play against me that much. Here I thought I was dead because Harley's old does so much, but then luckily uh nana's passive kept me alive there's so many times in this game where i'm like oh my god i'm so dead i'm done i'm dead there's nothing I okay yeah that time i was dead for sure but there's so many times in this game where i'm like yeah i'm dead there's nothing i can do about it if you're wondering why i'm aiming flame shot i was trying to look for harley because he was at low hp but then sun took care of him and then harley took care of sun so i think right now we're approaching the end of the game this game was pretty interesting very very interesting in my opinion at least so i feel like the most annoying people in this um game right now is grok and yi Sin shin i did not know that chao was gonna come after me i just simply put molina there because um i thought it would be a good place to provide vision that's why i just put like put molina in there yeah i decided to put him in there just in case the buff spawn but then i realized oh wait the buff won't spawn anytime soon so as you uh so yeah don't expect any god tier gameplay okay this i never played nana i only played nana a total of four times that doesn't mean i'm godly with her look wherever i go i see grok uh, this grok was really annoying to put up with because Molina wouldn't be able to stun him um, because because he's immune to that and then he can just block me with his wall which if I make contact with it it will do quite a bit of damage actually here I didn't want to attack Grok because if I attack I know I will be locked into attacking Grok as in not not like the game locks me in it's like my mind locks into attacking him but then luckily I didn't attack because the cow was right around the corner. Alright. So. Oh. Okay. So all I need is Genius 1. Nana is actually really good. But this is not um, a perfect example on why she's so good. She's actually quite underrated. I mean. She is. 
very underrated. Like, look at me. I'm trying to fight off against it. I was actually trying to keep my distance because I know Saber can one-shot me. Even if I have the immortality. I mean, I had Molina. I had um, my passive up. That's why I went for it. But I was still pretty scared. This Harley was also very, very strong, actually. So, yeah. I tried shooting from long range to see if it killed Chow, but I just realized I wouldn't kill Chow because he had too much HP. Harley and Chow are doing an amazing job at um, pushing us back until their tank got up. Because as you can see, look, I stunned him twice, which gave Sun and my team the best way in. Yeah, don't ask why I ulted there. I wanted to ult for Harley, but then I realized that I needed... I, I, I play a lot of heroes that... Like jaw hits ult, you just he just straight up locks onto people. So yeah, there we go. There's the game. What did I get? Ooh, gold. How much money? 150. I'll take it. All right. There are the scores. If you guys wanna see the stats, let me just do that. Here you go. Boom. There we go. Alright guys, that is going to be the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, share it with your family and friends. Um, my next video will be a ranking video. So it will either be this Saturday or Sunday or next week. Uh, I'll be posting two weeks once. So hope you guys um, will subscribe and click notifications for that. And yeah, until my next video, see ya.